Friday, friends, they started just at some stores just a few moments ago. However, it'll be a few hours before most retailers open their doors tonight. Two News reporter Brandon Richard joining us live from the south side tonight with more. Brandon. Well, Jason, we are at the Super Target near 71st and Highway 169, and as you can see, folks are already lined up, all ready to go. Now, Target won't open its doors until midnight, and you know, for most people, Black Friday means finding great deals, but for Mary Beth here, it represents so much more. The times when you feel like you're down and out and there's nothing left, here comes this little nudge and you're able to get through it. And getting through is what Mary Beth Hale has tried to do over the last few weeks. On November 1st, a fire destroyed her unit at the Winsale Apartments. Family photos were practically all she could salvage. God was very gracious in giving us back those few precious things that, you know, would have been completely gone without any way to replace. That's why this Black Friday is important to her. This year, it's about restoration and bringing more of what we had back. And with help from family. My husband's going to Walmart. I've got Target. My mom's going to Old Navy. She plans on doing just that. The main thing she wants to replace are toys and books for her two boys. Boys. Though she's appreciative of the handouts she's received, being able to purchase her own stuff will help make her new apartment feel more like home. That was my house. Those are my things that I lost. And so I'm kind of ready to kind of get some of my, my things back to make it our house. All right, now luckily no one died in the fire, and Mary Beth didn't just plan to hit up Target. She plans on shopping till 8 o'clock in the morning, and then it's off to work at 10.30. Live in South Tulsa, Brandon Richard, 2 News, works for you.